In this video, we're going to take a look at group policy and this will be part 1. First, I'll introduce you to GPO and then we move to local group policy. Now, what is a group policy? It is simply a user interface that explains all the different settings that you have available to you and so you don't have to memorize obscure registry locations of each individual computer and make those changes yourself. And it's even more impractical to go and change the settings on everybody's computer. A group policy object is a group of registry settings which in seconds or minutes could go and make a change that could affect your entire domain or an organizational unit. Now what are the components of a group policy object? First are the templates which are predefined group policy objects which are available for your convenience. And then there's the group policy object files in Sysvol which can be found in your local drive and then open windows and then there's the policy definitions and there you'll find the ADMX files and under the NUS you'll find the ADML files now for the interfaces there's the edit local group policy you can open it by searching for gpedit.msc and the policies made here only applies to the local computer and not to other domain computers and there are other editing tools that you could use there's the group policy management console or gpmc and the group policy management editor or gpme but in this case i'm just gonna go and connect directly from the domain controller i'm just gonna go to tools and then choose group policy management and to apply a GPO to an organizational unit, you may do this. Click on the organizational unit that you want. Choose create a GPO in this domain and link it here. However, I want to encourage you to not create policies that way. Rather, I would recommend you to create them from the group policy object down here. Just right click on it. Choose new. Create your policy. And when you're ready and you made all the configuration settings that you need, then you can link it to one of your organizational units. Now let me just show you how these things work. First, let's just start small with the local group policy, which only applies to the local computer. Now let's try to limit the access of a certain user to the computer. For example, let's try to prohibit access to the control panel. Let's go down to administrative templates, then click on control panel, and then click on prohibit access to the control panel and PC settings. You may also add some comments here. I'm just gonna put somebody's name down here to indicate who made this policy. Then click OK. This might not take effect immediately. If so, run command prompt, enter gp update, and then after that, it should take effect. Now remember that there are two sides to a group policy. One is the computer configuration, which applies to all users of the computer, regardless of the account types. And then there's the user configuration, which also applies to all unless you set up a local group policy which applies to an administrator or non-administrator security group or you set up a user-specific policy. Group policies can be used on any standalone machine or a machine that is a member of a domain. The only exception would be the domain controllers because of the nature of a domain controller itself. You don't set up local group policies on domain controllers. You can also disable the processing of a local group policy using a group policy object. For example, I'm going to create another group policy here from the domain level using the group policy management console which will disable local policy processes and I will name it disable local policy. Then right click on the GPO, choose edit and to disable the local group policy processing, click on policies, then administrative templates, then go down to system, then group policy then look for turn off local group policy object processing enable it and then click ok you should note that this policy right now is not yet linked you have to link the policies in order for them to take effect so to do that i'm just gonna drag and link this to an organizational unit where the computer accounts are located 
and after you run GP update and once this policy is done processing, it should disable the processing for the group policies. But by doing this, I have given everyone access to the control panel. Now if you want to disable or unlink that policy, you may do either of these stuffs. You can go to the organizational unit that you've linked it to, right click on the GPO, then uncheck linked enabled. Or you can just right click on the GPO and just delete it from the organizational unit. But then again, that would mean that I won't be able to access the control panel even as an administrator. Now to make an exception for administrators and other users from this local policy, this is what you're gonna need to do. Run MMC, you can just search for it and then run it. Click on File, choose Add or Remove Snap In. Look for Group Policy Object Editor, click Add. And then we're gonna leave this B because we're gonna be configuring local computer. Click Finish, then add the Group Policy Object Editor again. This is for the exemptions of the administrators from the local policy. Click on Browse. You may click on another computer if you want to do it remotely. But for this case, I'm just gonna click on Users. I'm gonna add the administrators group to this policy. Click Finish. Click OK. Now drop down the node for the administrators policy. Then go to User Configuration. Then Administrative Templates. Then Control Panel. Now to override the existing policy, Click on the policy that you want to override, which in this case is the prohibit access to control panel. Disable it, and then I just run a GP update to forcibly refresh the policies. Then after that, the administrator should have access to the control panel. While at the same time, prohibit other users that is not part of the administrator's group to access the control panel. What we did just now is called the multiple local group policy. In previous versions, there was only one local group policy. You won't be able to add an exception policy like we did earlier. And now we're done with group policy part 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned much in this video. For more videos, check out this link right here.